morning, so we're getting straight into things today. Emily's busy doing joke of the day. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll know what that is. But we're getting on our first inland ferry in Norway, and we've got absolutely no idea how they work, what we've got to do, we've got to buy a ticket. So I'm just going to try and roll on. We've got to turn the gas off first sign. There's a man though, there's a man, it's okay, there's a man. Hey, don't tell people that. It <laughs> wouldn't be like, oh, you don't need a bloke to get across the water. A person, there's a person. Oh, wait a minute, he's coming. Excuse me. Oh, uh, hello. Not a friendly man, not a friendly man. He just might not have heard you, heard you like screaming. So Norway has got loads of what they call fjords, which are massive stretches of water in between like little islands or little land masses. And you either get from one to the other via tunnel or via ferry. And this one looks like we're getting on a ferry. So no idea when it goes. I was turning the gas off. Oh. I was doing as I was told. For someone so tiny, Emily is so like kamikaze, isn't you? I am very heavy handed. Yeah. Everything gets smashed to pieces, whatever she touches. But anyway, I'll let you know how this ferry ride goes. We was on this for all of 10 seconds, haven't even started moving. And Louise was like, it's rocking, it's rocking. So shut up. Anyway, let's go and see if she's uh, been seasick on this one yet. I shouldn't laugh because it is a genuine thing and it is horrible when you feel like that. But she does make me do some crappy stuff where I actually feel sick, so I ain't sorry. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. How you feeling? Oh, I feel fine. Mm. No, it's not too bad. It's not choppy like the other one and it's only a short distance and I can see where I'm going. I think being able to see where you're going is the key thing. Shame. I was so happy for sick. <laughs> I'm just wet. <laughs> Anyway, it's only about 10 or 12 minute crossing, so it doesn't take long at all. And apparently they run like every 30 minutes or so, so it wasn't too much longer of a wait, was it? Easy peasy, but you will need to add it onto your travel time, because obviously mm -hmm. the sat-nav doesn't really account for the wait time, because we had to wait, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah. So, just one to remember. I wanna get high on you, caught by surprise by you. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should. We have just pulled into our first Norwegian uh, fuel station. So I know you're all going to know what the cost of fuel is, but as you can see, the weather has taken a drastic turn. Uh, for reference, this is what I put on this morning. Shorts and, um, I'm not driving in flip-flops, I just, uh, my feet needed a breather. But yeah, shorts and flip-flops. So it was 28 and sunny this morning, it's now 16 and pissing it down. But the fuel, it is expensive, but by comparison to what we're paying in the UK at the minute, I don't think it's too bad. So today it's 25 Norwegian kroner. 25 knock which is about two pounds seven so you know we was paying like 195 before we left the uk so it is more expensive but not massively so it does fluctuate daily though so it's worth checking in the morning and again in the afternoon and if you see it cheap get it cheap cheap because it'll go from like 22 to 27 28 in a day um but anyway the reason i'm filming is because emily said last week or the week before i've lost all track of time that she wasn't buying any more snacks for the snack cupboard i've never known her to go to a garage and not pick something up so let's see if she gets anything Ha-ha! Can't catch me out. I said I'm not buying any more sweets until the snack cupboard's done, and I haven't. Well, what, you, have you really not got anything? Yeah. Just some fizzy pop, though. Uh, yeah, because that's for on-the-go drink. But yeah. Ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Up yours, Louise. We've chosen this route because there is a waterfall that's on the way and it's meant to be one of the, the most beautiful, one of the top 10 in the world apparently, and the fourth biggest in Norway. So yeah, and we're about a couple of minutes away. Yeah, two minutes away according to the sat nav. Yes, and it has a fall of around 612 meters. So Louise has assured me that's pretty high. That's a big yeah. I have no idea. I can see some water. It doesn't look that impressive at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare be on the well. <laughs> if you was more impressed by that sweet shop in Amsterdam than you are by this waterfall, we're getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> then we are not on the same wavelength. Did you just do that? 
I'm taking applications for a new wife. Ideally taller than me. <laughs> well, that, that doesn't narrow down the field, does it? <laughs> oh, there's one here. I think this is it. Oh, this is it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. wow. I don't know if you could even see that. Before we get over there, I just want to tell you, because if it's going to be noisy, that there's actually a hike that you can do, and it's about a four or five hour round trip. And if you don't want to do that one all the way to the top and look over the waterfall, there's a stop about two hours up as well. So, look at that. It's cool, right? You can see the water coming across the road. Oh, yeah. And do you agree that it's probably one of the most 10 beautiful waterfalls? Were you sufficiently impressed? I was sufficiently impressed, yes, but I'm really not impressed with Google, it's probably full. So this is the hike you can do, 10 and a half kilometers up there somewhere. And honestly, we all know I don't like hills, but that is one I would love to do. Yeah, I reckon it'd be pretty cool. And maybe it's the time for another adventure when we're here, because we will definitely come back here. We're gonna have to, because we ain't gonna cover Norway. We're no way are we gonna cover Norway in the time. There's snow up there. Okay, maybe we won't come back here. <laughs> what, because of the snow? <laughs> yeah. Moves up. <laughs> Ooh, it's chilly now though, isn't it? Yeah. I wasn't the only Muppet in shorts and flip-flops though. Right, now what we need to do is find somewhere to park. Yeah, that's the hard... Oh, they're dropping things off, Louise. Be careful. I think you just did it. <laughs> no. <laughs> watch, watch it back on the camera. Oh, <laughs> well. Also, one other thing, for anybody who wants a hair wash, I reckon if you stood there long enough, it could happen. <laughs> Just go there with a bit of shampoo in and you'll be all right. Yeah. All right, ready? Driving down the road that I grew up on once again. It's when I pass your door, the memories come back again. We've pulled over again because we need to get out. Louise has got to get the drone up because this part of the drive has been absolutely stunning. And as well, what we've noticed is all of these little like strawberry things. And look, they have an honesty box. Well, these are cherries, obviously. But the ones I saw before were strawberries. But yeah, imagine that in England on the side of the road with an honesty box. Sky. I remember thinking if I only could stop the time. Awesome landscape, and as you can tell, I'm very excited. Oh, I can't wait to see what she finds on the drone. But look. I am obviously by the side of the road, that's why there's noise, but it's still very stunning. People could stare, I didn't give a damn, cause all I needed was my friend way back when. So we've arrived at our park up, dinner's underway. I've been in charge of that. I've been left responsible for dinner. I had a big job, bit of a responsibility for me, actually. Emily's just been out of AJ. Look at the state of you. It's, um, it's raining a little bit out there. A little bit wet? Yeah, just a little bit. I had the thunder, did you hear it? Yeah, that's why we turned round. So as you can probably tell, the thunderfall, yeah, the thunderfall, the thunderstorm is in full swing. I do that on purpose, just to add a bit of, you know, yeah, comedy into yeah, the vlogs. Yeah, the yeah. thunderstorm is under full swing. So we can't really film anything outside, can't show you the park up, it's nothing special. Dinner, however, though, is gonna be amazing. What do you need in the rain? A proper traditional Sunday roast. So that's what Emily is, Emily's doing it really. It's not me for this, you know, for once. Um, oh, you cheeky cow. So we're gonna have some dinner. Uh, it's quite late in the day, big driving day today, so we'll see you lot tomorrow.
We've woken up in this little lay-by nestled next to a tractor. It's a bit of a waste dumping ground, I think, for the local farmer. Like I said last night, the park up itself isn't particularly anything special, but the area we're in is absolutely stunning. So we're just outside of a place called Odder, and I found this little spot with a little bit of dog walking. Now we are struggling for dog walking here in Norway, believe it or not. Park ups are plentiful, they are everywhere. There's one along the side of the road every so many miles, it's fantastic. However, for walking the dog, it's a bit difficult and we can't take him, all the big popular hiking locations are usually no camping and he can't do those hikes anywhere. They're five, six hours long, they're slippy, there's, they always involve a bit of scrambling so they're no good for him. So we are struggling, believe it or not, to find park ups for dog walking and he does need the exercise. But, found this one, took him for a long walk along the road this morning, quiet road so it's all right. Fantastic scenery, you've got the fjord, you've got this stream river thing that's gushing through the mountains and, and I think I found some snow and even better than that, I think there's a parking spot up the top of it. So I'm just waiting for Emily to finish her work and then we're gonna make a move and we're gonna try and drive there and see, see if we can get our feet on a little bit of snow. Let's head down, it's getting cold. All that glitter is not gold and you are something I don't wanna miss. Makes me want you even more. You like the look of these Highland cows, don't you, mate? <laughs> they are super cute. I've never seen them. Wow. I've never seen them this close before. Liking the look of this one, isn't ya? I am. It looks really like pretty as well, doesn't it? Like little waffle there, little waffle there, little waffle down there. And up there, you can't see it on this camera, but there's some snow. Not enough, thank God. As it turns out, there's a car park right at the top of that long single track road and it is the start of a hiking trail and it looks a pretty special one, doesn't it? Oh, it's valid. Hercules, that's what I just wound myself off then, I'm sorry. I've got no idea what she's doing, but we are hiking to the top of a glacier or glacier. We're debating how to say it, aren't we? I'm just super excited. She's off her nut. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I Because it's flying from the glacier, it is super cold and you can even feel the cold air coming down. Are you going in for swim? No. I am proper in love with the Norwegian houses. They are so cool. It's about 185 knock to stay in this car park, Norwegian Krona. I don't know if they say knock, we're just saying knock because it just says N-O-K everywhere, which is about 16 pounds and you can stay overnight. So it's that price whether you just park for the day or not. Motorhomes are allowed. They've even got a special area behind me there somewhere. And look at the surroundings. And apparently the ropes aren't always there, but it's all right because I figured if Emily struggles and there is no ropes, I'll just take my shoelaces out. <laughs> we can just hike you up on them. Also, Emily's promised me a slow and steady pace. It is a very steep hill and I'm extremely knackered today because I've done two hikes already this morning. Earlier that same day, after spotting something on Google Maps, we took a fairly short but very steep hike along the track from our park up. I followed the trail down through the forest and found a pretty cool bridge that goes right across the centre of a giant waterfall. This bridge would definitely be a challenge for Emily. Unfortunately, due to the ridiculous incline and AJ's brilliant ability to tow us along at speed, we went one at a time. How was it? That was good. Yeah? Yeah. Did you go on the bridge, the silver bridge? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I know, I struggled. Yeah, even I'm out of breath. Definitely a pretty cool hike if you're passing and we were surprised to find it right near our park up. But now back to the next ridiculous hike we're about to embark upon. And she promised me a steady pace and she's off. at night and the walk is maybe two to three hours there and back 
but with Louise, add on another two hours and we might be back before midnight. Which is fine because it's still light at midnight up here. However, they do give torrential rain coming in about an hour's time. So whether we make it to the top, I don't know, but we've bought less camera gear than we normally would uh, just to keep the pack weight down and because uh, obviously the rain's coming. So we'll see what we get filmed. Is that you impressed? I am impressed, but it is a magical forest and we all know I love forest. It's also quite busy coming down. No one, I'm, I know one of the family are going up. So hopefully by the time we get there, it shouldn't be too bad because all the hikes, the big hikes like this in Norway at this time of year are pretty packed. Understandably so though. What are we following today? I think a tea, yes, tea. We're following tea. I'll tell you what, since you've done that zip wire, Action Emily's been out in force in Norway, isn't ya? I told you I was like action girl now. Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's the start of where it ends. I know, I know. It comes down to all or nothing. This time it's for real, we can't pretend. You know, you know. They're closing in. And I don't wanna miss a shot. She's quite some way away, but she said she's actual rock climbing. She's got her fingers in holes and everything. Yeah, them fingers. you can see it is, it is like ice blue um like from frozen with the like how, how blue her dress is i'll tell you what why don't you take him up there okay come on let's go We didn't quite make it all the way to the top. Um, Emily's very disappointed, aren't you? But it doesn't matter. I am disappointed because I really wanted to do it, but the fear was just a little bit too much. And I feel that I'm not in no way, shape or form any type of like climber. And it, oh, 
I don't know, I'm just making excuses because I'm just disappointed in myself. I feel like I've let myself down. No, not at all. We got to this bridge and the water is coming over it quick and it's a quite a big step. You won't be able to see it properly on the GoPro because like I said, it flattens everything out, but you have to make a few leaps. Emily's only got very little legs. You're also a slipper, a tripper and a dropper. So I think if we had the right gear, if we had a couple of ropes, some carabiners, maybe some sticks, then yeah. maybe we would have done it. And also if it wasn't going to piss it down because it's raining now, and it wasn't so late in the day, then maybe. But I think you did really well just to get that far. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gutted. Like I don't, I don't know. I feel. Don't worry, because what we're going to do is when we get back to the UK, we're going to do some rock climbing lessons. We're going to get the right kit so that next time we come to Norway, because we will be coming back. Oh yes, we will. Yeah. We'll come back to this particular hike, and you can finish it. And I'm, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. I just need a little bit more practice and to feel a little bit more safer. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, if I thought it was safe, then I would have pushed to do it, but it was a bit dodgy. And if I think it's dodgy, then it's probably a little bit dodgy. Yeah, and like, I know thousands of people do it. Like, we've seen loads of people do it today. Well, we haven't. We've only seen them come at the start. We oh yeah, them. we haven't seen them do it. We just, they say they got to the top. So. <laughs> <laughs> so if any of our friends in the UK are either experienced climbers or climbing instructors and want to help us out with some proper rock climbing stuff so we can be safe when we come on these trips, then yeah, hit us up and uh, we'd love to get involved. Oh, definitely. I'm all up for it now. I'm like, yes, come on, give me a rope. Get my <laughs> fingers in holes. I think the adrenaline might be rushing a little bit. We're going to head back to the van. Even I'm going to raid the snack cupboard tonight because it's been a long, adventurous day and we'll see you lot tomorrow or maybe even the next day. We'll see. It might need a, maybe we'll have a rest day. Yeah, maybe, yeah. And we'll see you when we see you. Quite clearly then, we're having hot dogs for dinner. <laughs> so it is the next day. I know we said we might not see ya, but we have. We're just having a quick dinner stroke lunch, lunch stroke dinner. We woke up this morning and we could not even get AJ out of the van because we were surrounded by Highland cows. And last night, I actually, me and AJ actually got chased by a Highland cow. It was terribly scary and horrendous. And I ended up standing outside the van for a good 40 minutes in the pissed down rain, waiting for the path back to clear. But that's a whole other story. So we had to move. We was, like I said before, struggling for dog walking, but we found this spot and we was gonna have the day off. We was gonna just go for a walk with AJ, which Emily's done. You've been out for a long hike with AJ. It's been lovely, but there's something at the top of the hike that we must, must show you. So we're gonna eat these and then, then we're gonna take you on one very short, very short hike to have a look at something that's at the top, which I haven't seen yet, but you have. I have, and I just don't know how there's gonna be any walks that we go on where we can't bring you with us because every walk is amazing. <laughs> We've not actually come very far from where we left you last night, so we're only on the other side of the glacier, so about, I don't know, a 40 minute drive underneath the National Park through a tunnel. We are travelling through Norway far too slowly, but that is because there is just scenery everywhere you look. So we're still near Odda. If you've seen Ragnarok on uh, Netflix, then this is where it was filmed, and you can see why, because it is literally scenery for days. But anyway, we're going up here to apparently go see a glacial lake. I'm just going to say it now, if you're not into waterfalls or running water or glaciers or all those kind of cool things, this Norway series may not be for you because I reckon every vlog's pretty much going to be full of scenery like this. Emily's just behind me up there, she said she's done her fair share of bridges last night. Love the little wooden bridges. Now, as inviting as this looks, you are not allowed to go in for a dip because it is part of their drinking water. So, unfortunately, we can only view it. And when she says unfortunately, she's talking a load of bollocks because it's, I don't even know what temperature is, but it is, you can feel the cold coming off it still. So it's coming from the glacier. You, but there's no way you'd get in there. No, she's right. But I have got the excuse that it's drinking water. So you'll actually never know if I'd get in there or not. And we all know how she feels about the rules. You can't break the balls, Louise, that's why they're there. No, that's the complete opposite reason of why they're there. So 
that the glacier is just ahead of us there and this was happening on the other side as well so it's quite warm today it's like 18 19 degrees the sun's in and out so it is a bit clammy shall we say yes but every now and again from the glacier you just get this waft of like ice cold air it's really strange isn't it yeah and it's really hard to explain to you but it is it's just so it's such a weird sensation that you're sweated it's obviously a nice sensation but then all of a sudden it's like Oh my god, you just walked through a load of like ice cold air. I can imagine it's like when someone says that someone's just walked across my grave and they feel that cold. I reckon it's like uh, that. But you can yeah. feel like all on your skin, you feel it all yeah. over. It's really strange. So I think we can all agree this is something pretty special behind us. What do you reckon? It is. It is amazing. And it's only about a half hour walk from the parking lot. And the parking lot is a hundred knock for the day. But you're not allowed to stay here overnight. But you are allowed to stay until midnight. So I don't know who's policing that. So yeah, definitely the cheapest and the easiest hike we've done. Again, we've come quite late in the day. It is still pretty busy. So we're hiding around the corner. Um, my recommendation is if you're coming in the summer, do the hikes late. Because if you're in a van, a lot of people are coming on bus tours from Odder. Yeah. So they're very busy during the day but come six o'clock everyone's on their way back down so top tip um on that note with the ferries because i know we got on a ferry early on we didn't have a clue what we we're doing we still don't really know but i've registered with a company called ferry pay and they've taken automatic payment today it was 78 knock which is about six pound 50 for that ferry so not too bad i believe if you register for an auto pass before you come you get a discount but you'll have to do your own research because we've <laughs> clearly done none and we are just winging it the best way, well, for us. <laughs> uh, so that's about it, really. We're going to leave Odder now. We're not doing, I know a lot of you want to see the Tor, the Tortunga hike or something, mm. whatever it's called, but it's like 500 knock to park there just for the day, 700 knock overnight. Only one of us can go. It's a long hike. It's just going to be ram packed. You can't start early. You've got to start at six because that's when the parking opens. So yeah. we'd much rather come on these little lesser known hikes and get off the beaten track a little bit, wouldn't we? Yeah, it's just a little bit more enjoyable for us, especially when we've got AJ. And Emily is still very much kicking herself that we didn't complete the glacier hike last night, but we are going to come back and I think you're going to do the full hike all the way over the glacier. From yeah, side to I'm going to do a tour. I'm doing it. Yeah, so that is something to look forward to in the future. But for now, we're on our way to Bergen, which is hopefully where we'll see you next time. Yes, yeah, so if you don't already, hit subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and ding the bell. I'm glad you remember because I've I forgotten. know. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.